It's your boy Shadow. Go get a types YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, today this video is on how to adjust your US cutter SC model. Um, I think this also applies for the um, MH model as well. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a two for one. You get a two for one. So basically, um, I saw it down in the comments. See, y'all gotta y'all gotta make sure y'all writing them comments because I don't know what y'all thinking. Y'all watching the videos, but I don't know what y'all want to know. So <laughs> basically, um, somebody said, yeah, um, they had a question about how to adjust um, the pressure foot on their, their cutter because it's leaving like little marks in their uh, vinyl. Basically, it's a very, it's a very simple fix. Very simple fix. What you do is first you load up your um your vinyl. Right here, what I got is um some adhesive. This is like adhesive for um you know t-shirts. Um, basically, uh, this is what you do to put the foil on. You get it from stalls.com. I'll put a link in the description below. But it's I love it. It's pretty dope. Uh, so basically, you know this is your pressure foot right here. I'm gonna try to get a better angle. You know, lift it up, you can slide it, press it down. That's how you lock it in place. But these two little knobs, if you, um, you know, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey, if you twist it to the left, it's gonna loosen up. Twist it to the right, it'll tighten up. So if it's leaving marks, apparently it's too tight. And what you need to do is just, you know, you, you, with these machines, you gotta more or less um, play around with them. Just play around, feel free to play around with them. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna break it. So just, play with the giant see what the uh proper tension is for you and then once you get back on here as long as these things are as long as this um your vinyl is firm i mean you can't you see this motion right here as long as you can't pull it easily you're good and that means you got enough uh pressure but i you know i never had an issue well i did have a little issue but it never quite bothered me because i still made the shirt anyway uh, where it came in effect with the pressure foot is when um, I started using the the sign vinyl. Pretty much with the sign vinyl, it leaves a lot of um, little marks on your um, stuff. So basically, um, yeah, that's what that's where it really caught in effect. But that's how you do it. I went off on a tangent, but that's how you do it. You just twist these. You know what I'm saying? You you get a nice little result. But back to what I'm doing. All right, so I got one shirt to make. I'm gonna try to ship it off before the weekend. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here. So always start at local. Once you load in your vinyl, uh, you put the pressure foot down. I put one in the edge, one in the corner here, one in the middle, and one on the other edge. Never in between this little gap here. This is a no-no. Don't never put the pressure foot in between here. Um, with this one. My speed is set at 400. I usually keep it at 300 to 400. Uh, the pressure, I had some thicker vinyl in there, so I had to um, increase the pressure on it. But with this one, what I'm going to do is decrease the pressure. So I'm going to go to left. You see this adjusts the speed. But if I go left and right, that adjusts the pressure. So I'm going to go all the way down to... And shit, feel free to um, write your settings on there. Whatever works for you, just write on the machine, you know what I'm saying? Usually like 30, 37 works for me with this, because this is a thinner material. Um, speed, I'm going to keep it at 400. And then I'm going to click local, because it's not where I want to start cutting at. So I'm going to click local, and make sure it's just on the edge. I'm going to slide it left and right, so look. You ain't got to do that, but... I was just showing you. Make sure you get to the edge. Make sure it's lined up. Make sure this vinyl's lined up with that so you don't waste any vinyl. All right, so that's lined up. And then you, you click on select and then current. So once again, select, well, enter. Select moves it. And then current. Origin puts you back to, it resets it basically test will give you a test cut so if you want to do a quick test cut it'll test your pressure to see if it's um cutting at a good um down force you know what i'm saying so basically yeah i got all my settings hooked up get my graphic hooked up go to browse well let me go to the start let me start here 
click on that little box the auto trace box i'm gonna it should be on my desktop do 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 and i call it leo do 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 all right then it did a nice little auto trace bam bam okay now, i ain't got my tripod set up so i'm only working with one hand so let me see how i can do this let's see get my tripod set up jump set up hold on right quick y'all See, with my last video, somebody started calling me, so I need to um, put this John on airplane mode for real. So this is a good video right here, I ain't gonna lie to you. People just hit me up left and right. Left and right, right and left. Dang, can't get this thing to work. There we go, we in there. All right, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is, um, what I'm going to do is this. All right, I'm going to uh, click on this one because that makes it, it flips. You always got to flip your image, flip it. So it prints right side up. This is going to be a woman's shirt. So I usually size it maybe 11 inches going across, you know, turn it around so it can cut and use the least amount of space possible. So this is the beginning. This is the beginning of the of where it's going to start cutting that with your software. So this is the beginning. So basically, you know what I'm saying? That's this is going to be the uh, edge. This is going to start cutting from right here. So that's the top. Basically, just turn your head sideways, and that's pretty much where it's coming out. Um, and you see how that, all that's lined up. So I'm gonna send it to the cutter. Click that little cut with cutter, and then whoop, send it, cut, cut, cut. Okay, it's not working. All right, I'm gonna hit cancel. <laughs> Sometimes my MacBook act a little funny. So, um, let me see. Hold on. A lot of times with my, my MacBook act a little funny, I gotta switch to USB ports. Switch it to another um, giant. And then see if this works. This should work. Whoop. Cut. There you go. You can see how it's cutting from the edge. And that's pretty much um that's how you do it. And that's how you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta waste as much bottle. Um as you see, this is a 20-inch roll, 20 inch by five yards, so I'm gonna waste a lot up here. I'll be wasting a lot of bottle on this side, so what I'm gonna end up doing is, like when I cut, when the when it's finished cutting, I'm gonna save, you know what I'm saying, this part because I always use it, you know what I'm saying. You always use the scraps. Save me, shit. I made a lot of t-shirts off of scraps. <laughs> but yeah, basically, um, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. If you want me to make some more, make sure you comment in the comment box below. Peace.